Hello everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today's video is on a classic Sudoku taken from the Sudoku Grand Prix round 8 that just concluded uh, yesterday. I gave the round, it was a really hard round I thought. And uh, this classic Sudoku is, was the highest pointer amongst the classic Sudokus from that round, a 50 pointer classic. And I had to guess on it during the contest as I missed some uh, really tricky steps. And uh, this round was authored by Japan and the authors are Kota Murunishi, Minako Sakai, Shinichi Oki, Shinya Tamori and Yosuke Imai. And they had put out a really brilliant set. Some of the Sudokus for example, the skyscrapers, uh, the descriptive pairs are all, all were excellent and really challenging. So the Sudokus are available for download from the World Puzzle Federation website. Uh, it's easy to download you can just you know download and keep the contest a go i'll add a link in the description of the video meanwhile if you want to try this sudoku out yourself the link to solve is in the description please do give it a try come back and watch the video so let us start solving this sudoku now classic sudoku rule supply so each row each column and three by three box in the grid has digits one to nine without any repetitions so let us start the sudoku now 3 3 i get a 3 here so that gives me 3 in these two sets you know uh, when you attack a sudoku alone it's always sometimes easier to uh, solve than uh, solving sudokus you know like a pack for example if you give a contest for let's say 60 70 minutes there is a high chance that even easier sudokus may slightly become trickier because you are solving under uh, time constraints and when you solve a lot of sudokus under time constraints it's easy to miss some uh, steps which you which one would otherwise find uh, without much difficulty so i thought that this was one such sudoku uh, so anyway what was i looking at three right three goes here and 3 is not here, 3 is not here, so 3 goes into these two cells, which gives a 3 here. Uh, 3's, okay. Right, so if you look at 3 at, in row 4 now, 3 cannot be here, 3 cannot be in these two cells, so 3 has to be here. So that gives a 3 here, excellent. And 3 in box 6 has lots of options. So let us switch our, uh, you know, focus now. 8 doesn't go here, 8 doesn't go here. So it goes here and that follows it up with an 8 here. Okay, I'm looking at the 8s now. Many places here. 8 is in here. 8 is in here. Okay, so nothing much with the 8s. 1 meanwhile gives us a straight digit here and that means 1 in row 6 goes here 1 in box 3 goes here cannot be in this region so looking at the 1's now right so 1's don't have much action so, but after placing this one, you will notice that 8's, which had 3 places initially, is now restricted to just 2 cells. So, that fixes the 8 in box 1. Right, so I think 8's are done here. So, let's look at 4's. 4 is in one of these 2 cells. And 4 goes in these 3 cells, right? Right, 4 has lots of options in many boxes, so 4 is not a good option. Let's look at 5's. Five. 5 is in one of these 2 cells. 5 goes here. And top 3 boxes don't have any info about 5. So, let's change our attention again. Maybe look at 2's. 2 is not in this cell, 2 is not in this cell. So, 2 goes in here a pointing pair of twos so which will force a two here so that is really nice because we already had placed have placed eight in these two cells so that gives us a two eight pair now in row one column seven and row one column eight so 
which means one in this box now has to be forced in this cell because this is a hidden pair okay so ones have got some flow now so one is placed here so which means one is in one of these two cells and now in column six one is really restricted because of these ones one has to go here so i think these are the only two ones to be resolved right so now let us look at maybe six we haven't yet looked at six six in column eight has to go here it cannot be in this cell so six six and six right so six is here and six is not in this area right there is a six and and six here so that forces six in box seven so which means six is in these two cells in column three and because of this six six is forced here and that gives a six here which gives a six here and a six here and sixes have nicely completed have been nicely completed in all the boxes okay so maybe it's time to look at rows or columns which are almost filled yeah in these three cells the only digits left are four five and seven and you will notice that four and five is in column four so this is a seven which means this is four five and this cell cannot be two three seven one six eight and four and five so it is a nine which means four five goes here so four and four leaves a four in this area four is not here so four goes in one of these two cells and that puts four in one of these two cells in box one okay looking at the fours now and this uh box has three cells okay five so five is in one of these two cells right okay not much with the five two two and two right so after the sixes have got placed two is restricted now in box six forces a two here so which means this gets resolved eight and two let's look a bit for the twos three cells here two in box eight has two cells and i don't think any other box has any info about twos okay looking at this column which is almost filled one two five six three and eight so the left out cell digits are four seven and nine so this is a seven nine a four nine and this is four seven and nine excellent so right nice eight after getting placed here and because of this eight leaves a pointing pair of eight in box nine so which means eight is in one of these two cells but eight is already here in column six so this is eight so that leaves eight in here this is excellent right so you can see just by using pointing pairs and uh, you know the split dragon style of pencil marking or just you know writing the candidates of a single digits across all boxes and see seeing the impact so much progress is obtained in the sudoku but yet it is not so easy to solve this way because my style is used to making pencil marks in areas but this sudoku is all about uh, seeing pointing pairs and uh, stuff a wonderful sudoku really uh, and uh, you need to go through the exact solve path right so 3 8 pair here so which means one is pushed here this is 3 8 one here so one is here excellent 5 6 1 2 3 8 so 4 7 9 7 9 this would be 4 and 9 which is nice because of the 8 here 8 doesn't go here so 8 is forced here in row 4 eight eight okay eight is in these three cells nice now uh i'm seeing nine staring down this column so nine is in one of these two cells which is not helping mm. okay seven 
So 7 is forced in these two cells, so that puts a 7 in box 4. Nice. So this would be 5 and 9. And that is staring down at these two cells, which forces 9 here, a 4 here, and this becomes 7 now, and this is a 4. Excellent, guys. What a wonderful solve. So I don't remember if I said this, but I guessed on the Sudoku in the contest because uh, it was in the dying minutes, hardly 10 or so minutes left and I had a bunch of Sudokus to do. So I guessed on the Sudoku uh, in the contest. 2, 5, 6, 1, 4, 7. So this would be 3, 8 and 9. And 3, 8, so which means 9 is forced here. So this isn't a 9. So actually I could use the unique rectangle technique here, but it's not needed really. 2, 3, 4, 9, 1, 6, 8. So 5 and 7 is forced in this area. 3, 5, 7, 1, 4, 6, 8. So this is 2 and 9. Um, what do we do now? This is 5 and 7, right? 1, 6, 8. 3 and 9 and 2 and 4. So it is 5 and 7. So which means in this box, 5, 7 is forced here. Whatever goes in this cell cannot be in any of these cells. So it is forced here, 5, 7. Ah, nice. So 9 is not here. So if you look at row 9 now, there is only one cell left for the 9. This is 7 now, so which means this is 5. So that forces this as 5. So 4 doesn't go here, 4 is here. So this is 9, excellent. So 9 is now forced here, which means this is 3, 8. This is a 5, 7 for row 9. 3, 7, 8. 8 doesn't go here, 3 doesn't go here. 5 is here, so this is a 9, and this is a 5, which means this is a 4, this is a 5, this is a 4, 1, 3, 5, 4, 6, 8, 9, so 2, 7 has to be here. So 9 now has to be here for column 3, that resolves this 2, 9 pair. So 2 is forced here, which resolves this 2, 7, which means this is 5, 7, 5. Let's finish this off. 4 and 7. 7, 4. 7 gives 8 here. And now it's about finishing the Sudoku. 1, 6, 8. 2, 4, 9. So 3, 5, 7. 5 goes here. 7 goes here. And 3 goes here. So really uh, nice Sudoku. Um, one or two tricky steps I would say. But not really uh, hard. But uh, very, very interesting Sudoku nevertheless. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. So we'll be back soon again with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.